Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where the other day a friend said, I've got this pair of glasses that I love, but they're just a little bit too short in the temple. Can you help me? And I took them out, took a look, and I said, yeah, I can do that, and I'm gonna show you how. Thing is, I got them home, I opened up the case, and I realized um, <clears throat> they need some alignment. The nose pads are yellow. It looks like one of them's glued in place. The eye wire is loose. Uh, <clears throat> we got some work to do. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing I noticed after I took these out of the case was, hey, here is another perfect opportunity to reinforce something I've been talking about a lot. If I just went willy-nilly and started unscrewing lenses and popping things out, I would have absolutely no idea how to put these glasses back together. So what is my favorite thing to do when I have a situation like this? Is mark up these lenses before I go taking anything apart. So I am gonna give myself a 180 reference. I am gonna take a little surface tape. Okay, looking at these, right, right, right. I'm gonna put a big R on there and I'm gonna put an arrow up. I'm gonna give myself a left, myself an arrow up. So I end up with that. Now, why am I pulling the lenses out? Well, I'm gonna pull the lenses out so I can get to this nose pad screw, which appears to have been glued in or is frozen or something. So hopefully I can kind of work from behind. That's why I need to pull those out in the first place. So the question that was asked, can I make these temples a little bit longer? And I'm gonna show you a trick that an old timer showed me many, many years ago. Also going to get into these nose pads. I think that's gonna be a huge mistake on my part. I think that's gonna give me a lot of trouble, but we'll see, maybe things will work out fine. We're gonna do a little bit of adjustment and tighten things up in general. Now let's see what we have here now. We have got about 130 total length there. Let's go ahead and slide those off. Those feel really good. If we if these were dry or in question at all, obviously I would use a new pair. I have got this huge bag full of old temples. Dig through it and I try to find a temple that is a hair thinner than the one that I'm actually going to, that's actually on the pair of glasses. And I'm gonna straighten that out as best I can. All I need is 10 millimeters of it. That's pretty good and straight. This already has a nice smooth end on it, so I'm gonna leave that. And I'm gonna cut 10 millimeters off of it. And I'm gonna do this in this tray here because I know it's gonna wanna shoot halfway across the room. It is much easier to smooth this up when I have all this to hold onto instead of just a little 10 millimeter piece of it. Let's see if my deburring tool can do it. That helps, let's make sure I've got nothing to catch because when I put this into that temple end and start pushing it through, if there's anything that can snag, this is not going to work very well. Time to cut another 10 millimeter piece off. Looks good. Put it in my tray. 
All right. Now I've got two pieces. Gonna take that and I am gonna load it or preload it in my temple. Oh, that is good. That's that's excellent. That's what you want to see. You want to see it to kind of fall in there rather than have to be forced. I'm gonna slide that back on. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. And give me a little bend so that things hold on there. That looks wonderful. Let's load up this side. That's good. Put a little bend in there so things stay on. Now, keeping in mind, I've got a break right here, right about here from the end. So I'm not going to be hitting here. I'm not going to be bending way, way out here, but there instead. And let's see what we're at now. 140. Nice. All right, so there's a little trick to help you extend the range of the temples. And next, I'm looking at this, I see some negative face form. It's kind of like this when I want it like this. So I'm going to do a little tiny bit of bending, not much. That looks better. Now, of course, by bringing those in, it brings those in. So let's stretch those back out a little bit. That's better. All right, let's address this nose pad situation. Go ahead and get that. This lens is out. Right, the one nose pad is going to come right out. Easy as can be. Goodbye. All right, let's. Asymmetric, so we're good there. Look at how nicely that brightens that up. One down and then one really hard one to go. I honestly do not even know what happened on this other side, but it is ugly. Let's go ahead and cut that off, I think. this is actually just going to work? I can't. And that tightened down just fine. So we got ourselves some beautiful, nice new nose pads on there as well. Liking that. That's looking good. That's looking good. We'll finish our adjustments when we're there. Right, right. Let's get that back in place. Looking good. Those look good. Got some nice, beautiful, fresh new nose pads. And I've got longer temples. Look at that. Job done. This pair of glasses came to me with temples that were too short for the wearer. Loose eye wire screws, loose temple screws, poor alignment and with one nose pad glued on and both of them quite yellowed. And about half an hour later, look at them now. Every pair of glasses that you get your hands on should be an opportunity for you to shine. For you newbies, it's also an excellent opportunity for you to practice and build your skill set. It is stuff like what we just did that sets you apart from others. It's also something that no online retailer can possibly offer. Show people that you are different. 
that you are a Laramie K optician works. Optician. I don't care where the glasses came from. I don't care how green the nose pads are. I don't care how nasty those glasses are or who bought them or where. Take them apart, clean them up, make them bright, shiny, and new. Set yourself apart from the crowd. That's what it's all about. If you're watching me on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button down there in the corner. If you're watching us on Facebook, please give me a like. Make sure that every lens that you take out of a frame and put back in comes from Larry K. And I will see you again next week.